European airline, Eastern European, Wizz Air switching focus. It's bringing Hungarians back home, repatriation flights, and it's bringing in medical resort uh, from China, and it's bringing in people in from the United States. It's involving the airline's first transatlantic flight. Joseph Vardy is the CEO of Wizz Air. He joins me now from Budapest via Webex. Joseph, good to see you, good to talk to you. Uh, your airline not flying passengers at the moment, uh, commercial passengers, but well and truly involved in the Hungarian relief effort, isn't it? Well, uh, good evening, Richard. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are still flying around 5% of our capacity for scheduled passenger services. And on top of that, we engage with new lines of businesses. As you said, uh, we are flying uh, Chinese uh, medical cargo, medical appliances uh, to, uh, to Hungary, but not only Hungary, also to other countries in Europe. And at the same time, we've done quite a number of repatriation flights. One of them, which was very remarkable, was uh, uh, bringing Hungarians, Slovakians and Slovenians uh, from the United States to Europe. Are you doing these flights? I mean, when I say on a commercial operation, I don't mean necessarily making money, but are, are you doing them on behalf of the Hungarian government? Yes, we are doing it on behalf of the Hungarian government. I think we are just recognizing our role as an airline in these critical um, uh, circumstances that uh, we need to do what's right for our countries, what's right for our people here, and people are in need of, uh, of medical aid, and this is what we try to contribute to. I, 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 the, the, you've been critical of bailouts for other European carriers. I mean, look, I, you know, I, I'm not being unduly flattering, Joseph, when I say you run an excellent airline, you're very, uh, um, very stern on costs, and you're one of the most profitable, and you have one of the, the lowest cost bases. Are you at risk of seeing your competitors being bailed out? Uh, but Richard, here, here is the problem. I think the states should be getting involved uh, to try to get resolution on the, uh, on the situation by easing some of the costs associated with the operation of the airlines, like infrastructure costs, airports, uh, air navigation charges, also should be helpful with the employment costs, because simply as airlines are unable to fly their schedule, uh, people have become uh, unproductive and governments can help airlines out uh, by easing their costs. But when you are bailing airlines out, that's kind of distorting the market. And it's in a way unfair, because some airlines have been managed for hard cash. I think we are one of those businesses. And others you know, have been blown out uh, by the wind as uh, coronavirus broke out. And as a result, now they are begging for money from governments, and governments are aiding them. And that distorts the market. And I think that is unfair. Have you had to call on your cash lines? Have you drawn down your lines? So I know you've got a very healthy cash buffer to start with, but are you going to need more money? Well, going into coronavirus situation, we had 1.5 billion euros of free cash, and uh, we have pretty much uh, preserved that cash position to date, and we believe that uh, even if we are grounded for 18 months, we are still a survivor and we are still in uh, business. So certainly our liquidity is strong enough to take us through this uh, crisis. And as a matter of fact, I think we're going to be emerging as a better business, as a more formidable competitor uh, by the end of the, um, uh, the, the crisis. Uh, so I think we can leave on our own liquidity. Of course, we are considering additional liquidity, but more like as an insurance policy. And, and uh, finally, the... the... The idea, one of the interesting things I find about looking at what you're up to is you're still proposing to take aircraft. It's almost as if, and, and I don't mean this in, in a nasty way, but, you know, never waste a good crisis. You're putting yourself in a position and you're still talking about expansion. And I find that unusual. It is unusual because you're going to be seeing the uh, industry sort of going backwards. Uh, but we, we're going to be one of those few airlines uh, which actually will be going forward. And we are looking at this situation as an opportunity for our business. I mean, let's not forget, uh, we are the lowest cost producer in a commodity business. And as such, I think we have a unique position to step change our presence in the marketplace. Because simply, in good times, everyone sort of shines. But in difficult times, you will really see the difference. 
And I think we have a position here, what we, we are going to exploit, and we are still looking at growing the business and taking uh, advantage of the situation. And we will see a lot of cheap assets. We will see uh, much more access to our airport capacity. Uh, we will see a lot of demand on unserved by other airlines simply because they are not in a financial position to do so. And I think that gives us the opportunity to step up. And this is what we are planning on.